Hi guys, this is Megan from the blog WilsonHempstead.com and today I am doing my son Dimitri's two month update. He is growing so fast, I know I say that in almost every baby update that I do, but it still shocks me every time I do an update. I'm like, what? He's two months old or she's a year old or however old they are. It's just always like crazy to me because they're just growing up so fast. So anyway, let's get right into Demetrius's two month update. I actually forgot to weigh him before this video but I will go weigh him after and I'll insert the how much he weighs on the screen so you guys can know. But I definitely know he's gaining weight. He's nice and chunky and he feels heavier than he used to. I know he's getting plenty of milk so I'm not, I'm really not concerned with weighing him but sometimes I am just curious. He's doing pretty well with sleeping at night which has been really nice. He was sleeping for like a seven hour stretch and then he would come to bed with me and nurse and then sleep until I got up in the morning. He had a little regression last week when I had a kidney and bladder infection and I had a really bad fever and I just felt awful and that night he decided to wake up every hour to nurse and it was not right timing but what are you gonna do? But now he's getting back on track. He'll usually sleep like five-ish hours and then a lot of times I can stretch him to around seven hours if I let him have his pinky which I try not to do unless he is actually upset. I don't just give it to him like all the time even if he would fall asleep fine on his own like I don't want to get him too addicted to it but I find to let him have it if he'll give me another hour or two of sleep. <laughs> so normally his schedule is that we start getting him ready around 8 or 8.30 depending on when he woke up from his last nap and we do our whole bedtime routine which is bath and then he gets a clean diaper and gets his pajamas on and then he nurses and then I wrap him in a swaddle and I bounce on our exercise ball until he gets really sleepy and then he goes in his playpen and that's been working out really well. I think part of the way you can get a baby to sleep really well even when they're young, is to get them on a really good bedtime routine. Because then when they get the bath, they're like, okay, I know that bed is coming soon, so they just start getting ready for it. And then he'll usually sleep somewhere between like four to seven hours, it really depends, on the night. And then he'll come to bed and nurse, and usually he'll sleep until seven, and then I'll just nurse him in bed and we'll both get up. So he's been having a little bit of a problem with latching. He kind of stopped latching properly, which is kind of weird because like the first couple days of me breastfeeding when I have a newborn is kind of painful when they latch and then once they start nursing it feels better. And then we had like a month or more of it feeling just fine, it felt totally normal and then this last almost a whole month it's been hurting when he first latches on again. And I discovered that he is sucking in his lower lip, it's not like flanged out like it's supposed to be. So we've been practicing, I try to pull on the skin on his chin, ha, <laughs> that rhymes, to try to pull his lip out so it's flanged properly. He doesn't do that on his binky. His lip is flanged just fine on his binky, so I don't know if it's something with my breast or what. If you guys have had any experience with trying to get your babies to flange their lips properly, let me know because I will take any tips and advice you have. It's not a huge deal because he's been doing it for a whole month and the only thing that's happened is I'm a little sore, but he hasn't had any problems with the weight loss or not sleeping properly, or, and I haven't gotten any like clogged ducts or mastitis, so it's it's not the end of the world if he keeps doing that. I would just prefer not to be kind of sore. And then I kind of have a feeling that because he does it properly on his pinky, that if I knew exactly what I was doing and how to fix it, it probably would be very hard to fix. I think what caused it was that at night I let him nurse sideline, and that's how we both get the best sleep that we can, and I kind of fall asleep. I'm like kind of sort of awake while I nurse him, mostly asleep and then I fall asleep right after he latches on. I kind of feel like he stopped latching properly at night because I was just really lazy and trying to get him to open his mouth wide enough and all that so I kind of feel like that was what started this issue. And I have some really good news is that he doesn't projectile vomit anymore and I'm so thankful. I'm so happy that there's nothing wrong with his stomach, no allergies that I'm consuming. I'm back on all the dairy and beans and all the things that I was trying to avoid to see what was wrong. I did get him adjusted at the chiropractor twice, so that could have fixed it. I am also still giving him a really good infant probiotic every day, and that could have to do with it. But I'm just going to continue to give him the probiotic just because even though that issue is fixed, it's still really good to have really good probiotics in his gut, and it's just going to make for some really good gut health for his whole life. And that is really important to me, so I'll link the probiotic that I have used for both my babies down below. I just, I use the Hawk every day for my daughter. I pump a little milk for her and I take just a syringe of milk and then I put a quarter teaspoon of the probiotic in that and I stir it up and then suck it into the syringe and then I give it to him in the syringe and that's just really easy and I do it every morning. He still takes a lot of naps in this wrap as you can see. He just really likes to be with me and I just love having him 
like touching me all the time. And I think because I'm a little less stressed out with the second baby, I'm allowing myself to just enjoy this more. And I know that he will sleep by himself someday. And I really don't mind him sleeping in bed with me at night or taking naps on me. It's just really precious. And I'm just really letting myself enjoy it and soak it all in this time around. And I wish I had let myself do that with my daughter more, but I was a new mom and a lot more stressed out. His favorite thing ever is me holding him and sitting on our exercise ball and bouncing. I think because I did a lot of that while I was pregnant and he remembers the motion because that is what will calm him down the best. Well, other than letting him nurse, that's his favorite thing. But he really likes bouncing on the exercise ball. That's how I get him to be really sleepy at night because it just so relaxing to him. So, And I really enjoy it bouncing on the exercise ball, so I'm glad that he likes it. <laughs> he's still really good in his car seat. He's pretty content and I think he's just a lot more content during the day to just hang out on the couch by himself for a long stretch just because I do have a toddler that I'm dealing with a lot during the day. So he's just had to kind of get used to being on his own a little bit more than she ever did. But he's doing really well. He's so healthy and he's just thriving and we are just so enjoying having a little baby this age. And Sophia loves him. Her favorite thing is to give him kisses and it's just very, very cute. So I hope you enjoyed this two month update for Demetrius. Oh, and that's the other thing is that we have a bunch of different nicknames for him. Sometimes we'll call him Demetrius. Most of the time we'll call him Dimitri. And then we've also started calling him Dimmy. And all those are just so cute. I love, I love little baby nicknames. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this update and that you guys are having a great day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.